All right, I am here at my local Asian market. This place is an absolute gem for everything, including mushrooms. So we're in the mushroom department here. We have some shimeji, white shimeji, brown shimeji. Have some beautiful, big, I think those might be shimeji as well. They kind of look like enoki, but I'm not sure. Seafood mushroom. Their dried mushroom selection is just insane here too. They have all these beautiful dried shiitakes here, slices and whole. Have some really nice wood ear mushrooms. Lots of wood ear mushrooms. Bamboo fungus. Those are really cool looking. Never tried those. I might have to pick some of those up as well. It's got some beautiful oysters, baby bellas. And then we have these absolutely ginormous king oyster. And this is what we're gonna clone right here. So I'm gonna buy a package of these. We'll try and get some clean internal tissue, get them on agar. And uh, really interested to see how they get these so big like this. It's selective like harvesting or it's just the strain. So we'll check it out. All right guys, we are down in the mushroom lab sciencing and I'm gonna show you what we got going on. So these are first gen plates. I took one of those big baseball bat sized king oysters from the Asian market I was showing you and just did a simple tissue clone on five Petri plates. So I'm gonna show you what these are looking like here. It's about a week and a half of growth. We have all clean, beautiful plates. I'm using pre-poured plate. Of course, there's a golden retriever hair on one of them, but that's normal. We're using pre-poured plates from micropose.com. Micropose is an affiliate company of ours, so if you don't feel like pouring your own plates, pick some up from Micropose. You can see they're working great here. Have really fast, vigorous mycelial growth, and you can use promo code RENEGADE at checkout to save yourself 10% and it does support the channel. So as always, appreciate that. But we have five first gen plates here. Again, just simple internal tissue clone on malt extract agar. So we have another one here. All five of these plates are looking great. I am going to take a couple of them to a second generation just to make sure we're nice and clean before we go to grain. Typically you want to go two or three generations when you're tissue cloning before you take it to grain. I'm probably only going to go two generations this time because you can see we have no contamination here at all. No sign of contamination. Just really nice vigorous growth on these micropose plates. So I'm excited to grow this strain out. Uh, really excited to see how it goes on grain as well. Obviously, it's a very vigorous commercial strain. If you want to see the whole tissue cloning process, I'm going to skip over it here, but uh, I show it in my Taming a Wild Mushroom video where we're cloning a wild Herichium coralloides. I will link that video in the description of this video. But for now, I'm going to get in front of the flow hood, drop some wedges from these plates onto some second gen plates, and then uh, we'll jump back in when we go to grain. All right guys, so our second gen plates turned out beautiful as well. I actually don't have any contamination on any of our plates. So we just did some transfers to grain. Oh, you can see that plate right there. Cut some wedges out. And now we have four grain jars inoculated. I'm just gonna shake those up, four four jars. And I also dropped some into some freshly sterilized liquid culture nutrient broth. We'll see how the colonization goes. So far it's been pretty aggressive on agar, so I imagine it's going to be pretty aggressive in this LC and this grain as well. We'll let it colonize and jump back in a little bit. I'm about to spawn these jars to some pasteurized fuel pellets. We're going to grow these things out. So all the hard work is paid off. We have some beautifully colonized grain jars, nice healthy mycelium. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and spawn these to our pasteurized fuel pellet bags, seal them up, and then uh, they'll go on the incubation shelves. Now once these are ready to fruit, probably gonna do a cold shock. Typically king oysters like a cold shock, probably do 24 hours in the fridge and uh, get them into our automated humidity chamber. And we'll jump back in when we got some mushrooms to show hopefully all right guys time for a quick update on our asian market kings i have three blocks currently in my humidity chamber here automated humidity chamber 
and it's running at 87% humidity. So all our agar plates were clean, took some wedges, dropped them to grain. All the grain spawn was clean. I also took some wedges and dropped them to some LC so I can do LC with this strain from now on. We have one almost ready to pick there in the back. It's looking really nice. We have one here that is just pinning. Just cut the tops off the bags with those two. So what I'm seeing is what I'm used to seeing with Kings. We just have, you know, probably eight or so there that are gonna mature and the rest of them are going to abort. Uh, that's usually what my other strain does as well. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna try and get some big ones. I want some big boys like we saw at the Asian market there. It is not genetics, obviously. It is the way you fruit them. So with this third block, what I did is I just cut a little X there and I taped everything down really tight and I'm hoping to limit it to just, you know, one, two, three pins, whatever. And it'll put all of its energy into those fruits and hopefully we'll get some giant ones. So these back here, I will probably pick tomorrow. Um, these are probably about a week away. And this guy there is just starting to pin. And we are ready to pick our first block. Got a beautiful flush of kings here. And I'll be interested to see what the yields look like. I'm thinking they might be a little higher with this strain because they were a little slower to pin. Maybe they store up a little more energy, but just a really nice looking flush there. And our third block there where we just cut the little X. We have one nice pin protruding there and I see a two or three other little small ones that I think are gonna try and sneak through there. So we may have actually made that hole a little too big. I would say the X is maybe like inch and a half by inch and a half. It might have to go smaller than that, but we'll just see how that turns out. All their block is over there chilling. I'll probably be picking that in a week or so. All right, guys, check this out. 15 and a quarter ounces. That is definitely our biggest first flush of kings we've ever had. And that is no supplements, guys. That's just straight pasteurized hardwood fuel pellets. You can see we got to clean up the top of our block there, too. Always clean up the top of your king blocks uh, before you put them back in for the second flush. Get rid of all of those aborted pins and all that junk on top and uh you'll have much better luck but 15 and a quarter ounces man i'm impressed this is a really nice commercial strain obviously and we jacked it from the store so we did well so awesome yields we just have our other blocks in there uh, running at 87 percent humidity we'll see how they do and check back in a little bit all right guys so as you can see we did manage to grow ourselves a absolutely monster king here this is the bag where i just cut the single slit on top you can see the other pins that squeezed through did not develop they aborted all the energy went into this one fruit and we got just one single massive fruit body which is kind of what we were going for if you want to grow those giant kings like we saw at the asian market with this strain when we first started the video you know if you're one of those size matters kind of people then limit your available fruiting space make all this mycelium just put all of its energy into a single fruit body and that's how you can get it done. So here we're gonna pick off this big unit and weigh it, but I didn't get the yields off my second block that I did off of my first block. This is my first block here, the one we got the 15 and a half ounces off of. First I was a little perplexed, but then I realized that I actually put twice as much spawn into this block right here. I actually used two quart I can't talk. I put two quarts of grain spawn into this block here. Obviously, these king oysters like the extra nutrients. You know, you do more spawn, you have more nitrogen, higher nutrients. There's multiple ways to accomplish that. You can add supplements or just spawn really heavy, which is what I did here. So on this block, you know, we already picked off the first flush. That was at 15 and a half ounce. Really nice first flush. So I flipped it over tape down the top real tight and I just cut a little X slit on the bottom here and we'll see if this bag with the extra nutrients makes us another giant, maybe one even bigger than we have over here. All right, so there we go, four and five eighths. That's a really nice fruit body, but not great yields. But moral of the story is, you know, if you limit the fruiting space, you're probably gonna get one or two just giant king. So it's not really a genetics thing. It's a matter of how much fruiting space 
you give your mushrooms. And it's like that with a lot of species, honestly. You know, if you, same thing with lion's mane, um, tree oysters, you know, if you limit that mycelium to just one little available area like that, it's going to put all of its energy into whatever can emerge there. So I think we can wrap this video up, guys. Uh, I think we've showed that store-bought mushrooms are a really cool, easy resource, I guess, for grabbing some high-quality commercial genetics. All right, so that's a wrap, guys. We'll post how our other block does here in a update probably just a post on the channel talk about that so hit me up in comments guys let me know what you think if you found the video educational inspiring useful in any way please consider giving it a thumbs up it really does help us out and as always hit me up in comments let me know what you think and i will catch you next video